Group Project. Welcome to Integrating Technology into Language Arts Classroom. Focus on educational software, rubrics for evaluating software, and examples. In the subject TT6001, Innovation and Technology for Teaching and Learning. Presented by Oratip Girati Wutipong, Assumption University of Thailand. Content in this topic, we will focus on history of educational software, educational software, software effectiveness factor, types of software in education, educational evaluating software, rubrics for evaluating software, Examples, Summary, and References From this picture, you will see the word form Educational software is the biggest one surrounded by many word forms which are support the definition of educational software such as design, knowledge capitalization, technology enhanced learning, and computer science. Educational software is computer software developed for the purpose of teaching and learning. Education professional recognize this potential early, and many schools acquired computers long before they were found in most American homes. Educational applications then greatly increased. History of educational software the use of computer hardware and software in education and training dates to the early 1940s when American researchers developed flight simulators which used analog computers to generate simulated onboard instrument data. Major developments in educational software in the early and mid-1990s were made possible by advance in computer hardware, multimedia graphics, and sound were increasingly used in educational programs. CD-ROMs became the preferred method for content delivery. With the spread of the internet in the second half of the 1990s, new methods of educational software delivery appeared. In the history of virtual learning environments, the 1990s, were a time of growth for educational software systems, primarily due to the advent of the affordable computer and of the Internet provide greater accessibility to learners. Educational software encompass a variety of forms, costs, and purposes. Programs 
access to teach individual, both in preschoolers and adults. For example, letter names, sounds, and grammar in English, as well as other languages. Other programs introduce mathematical concepts for all grades, or are aimed at helping to develop good writing skills. Some programs, such as flight simulators, teach professionals the details of their jobs. Still, other programs called learning management systems or LMS at the college and university level. LMS are powerful application management systems that offer courses via the internet for non-traditional students. These tools allow institutions to design entire online courses and also are designed for use by certain grades in entire school districts for teaching or evaluation purposes. These often include access to a software company's website for comprehensive services. Software Effectiveness Factors Surprisingly, many experts agree that the quality of the software is not the most important consideration in how successful it is. The expertise and comfort level of the person helping the student is the single most critical factor. Many software programs offer technical support and tutorials to help teachers become more comfortable with the system. If the software is good best, another important success factor is the ability of children to access the software from home and the parents' comfort level in assisting the student. Some school districts have study programs that provide laptop computers to students, so they can be used outside of school. Many school districts have seen increased test scores after implementing educational software systems. Students do at least as well if the same energy is spent in well-planned conventional instruction. It may be a student's first introduction to computers. For those already familiar with computers, educational software plus them to use computers for more than just suffering the internet this might prove to be the biggest benefit of all. Types of software in education or educational software for schools Core Learning published educational software specially designed for learning needs in important skill areas. You will see the cycle of core learning or core subject. Math, science, critical thinking, social studies, health, music, art and creativity, language arts, Software programs are available as instructional as 
to present curriculum in the classroom, but also to supplement in-class instruction with self-paced learning programs used at school or online as after-school software programs. Software in education can be split up into seven categories from the researchers who split it up following this mind map educational software can loudly be split up in seven categories there are study materials games reference organization and planning practice, creativity, collaboration, and cooperation. We will look at first type of software in education. This is study material. Indicates the category that translates or provides an actual learning method in digital format such as ebooks of study books or the software that can read those formats for example inkling e-readers and pdf readers Games refers to educational games. Games which for some reason are considered in education to aid the user in understanding concepts or practice theories. Examples are physics-based puzzle games or serious games which simulate real-life settings. Reference materials are applications that let the user look and read specific information. These applications take over the role of encyclopedias, reference books, dictionaries, and news sites. Organization and planning are applications that allow the user to schedule and organize their life through schedules, portal that give overviews of courses, meeting or deadlines, let you make to-dos and notes and more. Practice applications are applications that specialize in giving you exercises on a specific topic or a work environment to practice on a specific topic. Very common ones are language learning applications, giving the user phrases or words that you can memorize or translate. Other include mathematics or physics, suit so in order to create and run simulations. Creativity gives home to applications that allow the creativity of the user to bear fruit Drawing applications, music applications, photo makers and editors, applications that help with choreography. These are all applications that allow the user to express creativity. And the last one. 
collaboration and cooperation is the most interesting category for this project. As mentioned, there are little dedicated applications that are meant to support collaboration, but there are quite some applications that still facilitate it. Messenger applications, file sharing applications, surface tables and multiple user applications are examples of these. Educational evaluating software Nowadays, students are growing up and learning in the digital age. It is imperative that teachers are evaluating the appropriateness and effectiveness of the educational technologies that they choose to integrate into their lessons. To evaluate an object is to define its worth or judge its value. Just that from Shelley Gando and Gando 2012, educational technologies, for example, website or apps are assessed to determine if the technology is suitable and enrich the teaching and learning process. To be considered appropriate, educational technology must be suitable for the educational situation, must be motivational and must promote learning at the correct levels of student ability and academic achievement. As well as adhere to curriculum standards and learning objectives, it is essential that teachers continue to evaluate the digital resource before, during, and after its use, a web evaluation rubric is a detailed scoring guide for assessing the value of content of websites. There are many rubrics that are available on the World Wide Web to assist teachers in evaluating the appropriateness and effectiveness of an educational software program. There are also evaluation rubrics that have been designed for students which are user-friendly and engaging. Here is an example of educational software evaluation rubrics the first is a teacher center rubric. You will see the rubric table. There are four pies following in each domain. First domain is curriculum connection. Getting one point skills reinforced in the app are not clearly connected to the targeted skill or concept. Getting to points, skills reinforced are prerequisite of foundation skills for the targeted skill or concept. Getting three points, skills reinforced are related to the targeted skill or concept. Getting four points, skills Reinforced are strongly connected to the targeted skill or concept. Second domain, authenticity. Getting one point, skills 
are practiced in a road or isolated fashion. Getting to a place, skills are practiced in the contract game, simulation format. Getting three points, some aspects of the app are presented in an authentic learning environment. Getting four points, targeted skills are practiced in an authentic format, a problem-based learning environment. The third domain, feedback. Getting one point, feedback is limited to correctness of student responses. Getting two points, feedback is limited to correctness of student responses and may allow for students to try again. Getting three points, feedback is specific and results in improved student performance may include tutorial aids. Getting four points, feedback is specific and results in improved student performance. Data is available electronically to student and teacher. Default domain Differentiation Getting one point, app offers no flexibility. The settings cannot be altered. Getting two points, app offers limited flexibility, such as field levels, such as easy, medium, or hard. Getting three points, app offers more than one degree of flexibility to adjust setting to meet student needs. Getting four points, app offers complete flexibility to alter settings to meet student needs. The fifth, user friendliness. Getting one point, student needs constant teacher supervision in order to use the app. Getting to points, student needs to have the teacher reveal how to use the app on more than one occasion. Getting three points, student needs to have the teacher reveal how to use the app. Getting four points, Student can launch the navigate within the app independently. And the last domain, student motivation. Getting one point, student avoids the use of the app or complain when the app is assigned by the teacher. Getting two points, student views the app as more schoolwork and maybe off task when directed by the teacher to use the app. Getting three points, student will use the app as directed by the teacher. Getting four points, student is highly motivated to use the app and selects it as the first choice from a selection of related apps. There are the rubrics for a teacher to evaluate the educational software. Also allows students to access digital software educational evaluation rubrics. Following this rubric, below for a student to evaluate educational software they have learned or they have got. It also has four points starting from zero to four. 
following five topics. The first, appear looks and sounds. Getting zero is is boring and unappearing. Getting one point is low quality graphics and sounds. Distracted from apps purpose. Getting two points, average sound and graphics. Limited appear, but. A little distracting. Getting three points, good graphics and sounds, enhance my learning. Getting four points, excellent graphics and sound, very appealing, enhance my experience. Second topic, engagement or motivation. Getting zero, it is boring. Getting one point, very motivated. Getting two points, somewhat engaging, but lost motivation after a short time. Getting three points, this kept me motivated and engaged most of the time. Getting four points. This app kept me highly motivated and engaged throughout my time with it. The third topic: user-friendly directions and instructions. Getting zero. What am I supposed to do with this app? Is provide indications from student. Getting one point, very complex to learn. No directions available for them. Getting two points is kind of difficult to learn. Directions are limited. Getting three points. It's easy to learn, and direction can be followed. Getting four points is very easy to learn, and directions are clear and simple to follow. The fourth topic: performance or is of use. Getting zero won't open, won't run. Filled with bugs. Getting one point crashes very often and takes multiple times to open. Getting two points loads and performs slowly, sometimes crashes. Getting three points performs and loads quickly. Some minor technical issues. Getting four points performs and loads quickly. No issues and very reliable. And the last topic: differentiation in learning. Getting zero. Oh. Getting one point. No customization, and one level of difficulty. Getting two points, little customization and two level of difficulty. Getting three points, some customization, three levels of difficulty. And getting four points, I can customize the app for myself, four or more level difficulty. There are all the student app review rubric for evaluate the educational survey they have learned. Student can give the point for teacher in their learning software. You will see the topic seems to. 
the teacher demand rubric is also related. This is student reveal. Examples of instructional software types Drill and practice provides exercise in which students work example items, usually one at a time, and receive feedback on their correctness. Feedback often varies from a simple yes, no, try again type of response to a very detailed. Types of drill and practice are sometimes distinguished by how the program tells us the practice sessions to student needs. This is just said from Murray and Salisbury in 1984. Examples in this drill and practice there teach our kids that come teach our kids math provides timed drill based assignment that aim at further solidifying the student's math foundation coolmath.com to serve up that have fun while practicing your math through lots of cool games, activities, and animated demonstrations, includes coloring pages for young kids and helpful sections for teachers and parents. Pranker.com in the mood for a fun collection of games that might just teach you something at the same time. Practice your math skills in games like Lemonade Larry and Batters Up Baseball. Also includes age-specific games like Checkers, Connect the Dots, Matching, Word and Miss Games. LearnPlus.com Now you can learn a foreign language over the net. Relative advantage with this drill and practice. These are interactive, self guide, attention getting displays, self packs and immediate feedback. Tutorials provide an entire instructional sequence similar to a teacher's classroom instruction on a topic. This instruction usually is expected to be a self-contained instructional unit rather than a supplement to other instruction. Unlike other types of instructional software, tutorials are true teaching materials. Good tutorial software should meet the following standards. They are extensive interactivity, thorough user control, appropriate pedagogy, adequate answer judging and feedback capabilities, appropriate graphics, and adequate record keeping. Examples for tutorials Kidsware.com A great website with real-world math tutorials that demonstrate how math is really used. The tutorials are aimed primarily at older kids in high school and even college. KidsSolve.com Need online flash interactive tutorial that covers 
Reflections MathAndScienceForYou.com Hands-on software tutorials that cover integers, formulas, equations, and more. Math with Bacon Math with Bacon's keyboarding lessons test, speed, and accuracy that pay off in efficiency and performance. The relative advantage they are interactive, entertaining, structured self-guide, and self-packs. Simulations This type of instructional software is a computerized model of a real or imaginary system that is designed to teach how the system works. Learners usually must choose tasks to do and the order in which to do them. When choosing good simulation software, there really are no set of criteria to go off of. However, simulation should be a realistic and accurate representation of the system. They should also have clear sets of instruction to help the teacher learn how to use the program and for the teacher to be able to show students how to use the software in a relatively short time. Examples for simulations ExploLearning.com World's largest and most advanced online repository of math and science simulation for grades 3 to 12. Cardenot.org A glowing number of topics from algebra and a lead matrix, many of which are accompanied by interactive illustrations and simulations. Sim City 4, a city building simulation computer game developed by Maxis, a subsidiary of Electronic Arts. It was released on January 14, 2003. The Relative Advantage of Simulation Interactive, Self-Guide, Self-Packs, Entertaining, Cost-Effective, and Compressed Time. Instructional Games This type of instructional software is designed to increase motivation by adding game rules and competition to learning activities. Instructional games often amount to drills or simulation overlaid with game rules. As such, teachers should use the following criteria when choosing instructional games, appealing formats and activities, instructional value, physical dexterity is reasonable, and a minimum of violence or aggression. Examples of instructional games The Learning Company The produce a variety of instructional games including Math Rabbit for preschoolers up to second grade. Active.com This collection of award-winning software titles is designed to improve grades and skills in school, regardless of a child's current level. Tense Buster Tense Busters helps learners improve their understanding of 33 key grammar areas from some at elementary level to phrasal verb at 
advanced level. The relative advantage they are interactive, entertaining, structure self guide, and self packs. The last one problem solving programs. This type of instructional software is designed to specifically focus on problem-solving skills. In general, problem-solving software should be interesting and challenging, and software should have a clear link to developing a specific problem-solving ability. Example of problem-solving programs Pet Vet 3D Today, there's never a dull moment for the pet vet, cuddle and play with lots of exciting animals, including sleek dolphins and bouncy kangaroos. Earn the animal trust by caring, feeding and petting them. I spy fantasy. Take an ice spy trip to some place new. This cleverly crafted running radio invites treasure seekers of all age to visit 13 dazzling fantasy environments. Miss N of H. Miss V N of H is. The fifth and final installment in the Miles Miss Adventures game series. The game was developed by CM World and published by Ubisoft. The relative advantage of problem solving programs they are interactive, entertaining, strike yourself guide self packs and improve interest and motivation. Summary Educational software easily captures the attention of children as it includes games, animation, or any else. It also includes variable information for adults. Educational software get rid of such burdens and make learning a matter of interesting time period. You can find thousands of educational software handling different types of subjects and topics. Choosing an educational application to integrate into a curriculum should realize that good educational software should meet the needs and requirements of both teachers and students. So, it will be the great and effective educational software. I would like to say thank you to many resources through my references page. And thank you for your attention on my presentation.